Welcome to Stoic Quest. Today we talk about Diogenes, the eccentric Stoic who challenged ancient Athens. Diogenes, the cynic philosopher, emerged as a defiant figure in Athens, challenging societal norms with his unorthodox lifestyle and sharp wit. His disdain for materialism and societal conventions made him a controversial yet influential figure. Originally from Sinope, Diogenes' transition to Athens marked the beginning of his philosophical journey. His arrival in the city was motivated by a scandal involving his father, which propelled him into a life devoted to cynicism. Diogenes' philosophy centered around the rejection of societal luxuries and the pursuit of virtue in simplicity. Cynicism, as he practiced it, advocated for living in virtue in agreement with nature, dismissing the need for wealth or status. His choice to live in a jar, or a large ceramic vessel, on the streets of Athens, was a testament to his commitment to simplicity. This radical simplicity was not just a personal choice, but a public statement against Athenian extravagance. Diogenes was notorious for his public acts of defiance. Whether mocking Plato or challenging the values of his fellow Athenians, his wit was as sharp as his philosophy, making him a memorable figure in the annals of philosophy. Diogenes and Plato often found themselves at philosophical odds, epitomizing the clash between cynicism and Platonic ideals. Diogenes famously criticized Plato's definition of a human as a featherless biped by presenting a plucked chicken. Their confrontation extended beyond verbal sparring to embody the divide between material simplicity and abstract intellectualism. Diogenes lived his philosophy, advocating for a return to nature and straightforward living, a stark contrast to Plato's focus on the realm of forms and ideas. The encounter between Diogenes and Alexander the Great highlights the power dynamics between philosophical ideals and political authority. Diogenes, unimpressed by Alexander's offer to grant him any wish, famously requested that Alexander simply stand out of his sunlight. Diogenes' critique of wealth and materialism was a cornerstone of his philosophy. He viewed Athenian society's pursuit of riches and status as fundamentally corrupt, advocating for a life of virtue in accordance with nature, free from societal excess. His legacy, challenging and often controversial, left a lasting impact on ancient art and literature. Through depictions of his life and anecdotes of his wit, Diogenes continued to inspire and provoke long after his time, influencing philosophical thought and cultural expressions. Diogenes' approach to consumption was remarkably simple, focusing on natural and minimal needs. He believed in living off what was readily available, often eating raw vegetables and fruits, demonstrating his disdain for societal excess. His use of a lantern in broad daylight, searching for an honest man, became a powerful symbol of his cynicism. This act highlighted his belief in the scarcity of genuine integrity and morality within Athens, underscoring his critique of societal values. In public spaces like the marketplace, Diogenes would perform acts that defied conventional behavior, such as eating or even mimicking the actions of statues. These acts were not mere provocations, but aimed to illustrate his philosophy that natural needs should dictate human actions, not social constructs. His critique of Athenian polis and its institutions was rooted in his observation of the disconnect between societal norms and natural human behavior. Diogenes believed that societal constructs often led to corruption and moral decay, advocating for a return to a more natural and virtuous way of life. Humor was a critical element in Diogenes' teachings, used not just to entertain but to provoke thought and reflection. Through sarcasm and wit, he challenged his contemporaries to question their lifestyles and beliefs, making his philosophical insights more accessible and impactful. Diogenes' life took a dramatic turn when pirates captured him and sold him into slavery. This event showcased his resilience, turning a dire situation into a philosophical exercise on freedom and the human spirit. Sold into servitude to Xeniades of Corinth, Diogenes' wit and intelligence quickly became apparent. He took on the role of tutor to Xeniades' children, instilling in them the principles of cynicism and virtue. Autarkia, or self-sufficiency, was a cornerstone of Diogenes' teachings. He believed that true happiness was found in needing little and being reliant on oneself alone, 
challenging the materialistic values of Athenian society. Diogenes' views on cosmopolitanism were revolutionary. He proclaimed himself a citizen of the world, emphasizing unity and the rejection of local allegiances. This perspective offered a radical form of social and political identity. His relationship with animals, particularly dogs, highlighted his teachings on nature and behavior. Diogenes admired their honesty and simplicity, seeing in them a model for human conduct devoid of pretense and falsehood. The death of Diogenes is shrouded in legend, with varying accounts of his passing. Some say he died of a severe illness, while others claim he held his breath until he expired, a testament to his eccentric nature. Despite living centuries ago, Diogenes' influence on Stoicism is undeniable. His ideas of living a life of virtue in accordance with nature laid the groundwork for Stoic principles, impacting philosophers like Zeno and Epictetus. Modern philosophy and thought still reflect Diogenes' impact, with his critiques of materialism and societal norms resonating with contemporary audiences. His life and teachings offer a stark reminder of the value of simplicity and authenticity. Renaissance and Enlightenment art often depicted Diogenes in a contemplative or confrontational pose, highlighting his philosophical contributions and his disdain for societal excess. These artworks serve as a visual testament to his enduring legacy. Diogenes remains a figure of interest in popular culture, symbolizing defiance against authoritarianism and materialism. His antics and philosophical stances continue to inspire those who question societal values and seek a simpler, more honest life. Diogenes used humor as a sharp tool to dissect the pretensions and follies of Athenian society. His wit was not merely for entertainment, but served as a potent medium to convey profound philosophical insights. Comparing Diogenes and Socrates reveals two philosophers who embraced unconventional teaching methods. While Socrates engaged in dialogues, Diogenes' actions spoke louder than words, challenging norms directly and often with a dose of humor. The legacy of Diogenes and his cynic philosophy continues to resonate today. His life exemplifies the courage to question societal norms and the value of living authentically, principles that remain relevant in our complex world. Interpreting Diogenes presents a challenge due to the blend of myth and reality surrounding his life. Yet this ambiguity does not detract from his philosophical contributions, but rather adds to the intrigue of his character. Diogenes' enduring influence lies in his bold challenge to social norms. Through his lived philosophy, he invites us to scrutinize our values and assumptions, a call to critical thinking that remains as pressing today as it was in ancient Athens.